What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Skills of Innistrad draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. We had a pretty sweet record with our standard deck that we just played. You can check that out on Patreon, YouTube, Twitch, wherever you want. Check it out. <clears throat> Patreon's nice, though, because then you get to support me. But now, we're in the... This is this card's, this card's pretty good. I think it's better than every other card in this pack. I'm going to take this... I'm going to take this Knight of Autumn. Knight <clears throat> of Autumn. Must be Knights. That's what I always say. If there was ever a reason to go Celestia, you're looking at it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, our board... Or, bor or Burritum. <clears throat> One Burritum. That's like a burrito, but in elemental in the elemental world. Arboritum? I'm having a relaxing night of autumn. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's some good shit. There's also Price of Fame here, which is it's better. But Night of Autumn is just, it's just a combo, you know what I mean? 7-5. Also, we can get, like, pump spells and give it trample somehow. Come on, guys. You know what to do. You know what to do. That's from a band called Outcast. I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're new They're new kids on the block. Which is also another band. Uh, It's either... I don't think it's this, right? Like, this card is kind of meh. You make a 2-2, two -two, that's great. You just run artifact or enchantment. That's not a super versatile ability. It's It's versatile. It's not super useful. Um, so like a lot of times you're just gonna making a two two <clears throat> for three mana, which is not great. This is usually found in the mentor decks, but it could still be good in this deck. And I'm wondering if this is just better. I think this part. I think the Park Leon Patrol is probably better. I would say this is on par. Uh, at least on par Helion with the other card, so. Yeah, I think Prey Upon's probably the best. I would, I like, I wouldn't mind having a Skyline Scout. I want early guys for, uh, for Convocage. But Prey Upon, especially when you have the 7-5, is pretty solid. That's why I love you. Now I have this Cindy Lauper stuck in my head, guys. Why would you get this stuck in my head? It's real inconsiderate. I am not going to be singing that Bustin' song, even though it does, even though it does make you feel good. Bustin' make. Do you know the lore of, for this set? I actually don't. Sammy, do you want to do you want to lure us, lure us in? <laughs> Hunter, come on, buddy. Come on, dude. I'm I'm very okay with these first four picks. I think we're off to a good start. Uh, if I was say Marshall Sutcliffe or uh, any any particular MTG commentator, I would say we're off to the races. Um, let's say we're about to turn a corner, maybe. Intervention seems good. At, at worst, it's a trick for white. But then if we end up splashing red somehow, it's uh, pretty good. Plus, it's better than I think it's better than the three one, and it's also better than the other card that was over here. I forgot what it was. Nothing great. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Come join us. <laughs> oh God. Oh my god. Really? This is how you're going to be? I like True Fire Captain a lot. I don't think it's worth taking, though. Wild Ceratok's pretty good. 4 3. There are three lures, each better than the other. Each better each better than each other? How does that even work? <clears throat> That's like the Mobius strip of lures. It might just be Boros Guildgate so we can splash this. I like that. 
Oh, a new challenger has emerged. This card's very good. We don't have to commit. We can actually splash green. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I think it's better than the second Boris Guildgate. Could also be just lock it. This guy's real good, though. I don't know what to do. It's either Locket, Boros Guildgate, or Boros Challenger. I don't think this is good. this is great here, especially when we have this already. I'm going to take this. I think it has the strongest upside. Eh, Restorer is good. I actually never mind having one Restorer in the deck, just because there are some aggressive decks. And being able to just play a 3-4 that beats a lot of things on board is nice. Chally, 2-drop. Oh, so you guys both agree. Oh, wow, the Swift... Is this... Oh, this is an 8th pick Swift just Justice Strike? Sure. You know what? Sure. <clears throat> oh, Celestia Guildgate. Oh, that might have been loud. I apologize if that was loud. Yeah, Celestia Guildgate's a pretty easy pick here. It lets us splash whatever we want. Garrison Sergeant could be good. For us, you're gonna be in the four drop. And you're gonna be in the five drop. That's a late sky sky knight legionnaire. Wow, that's great. All right, so Boros is clearly open. Cosmotronic wave can actually just win games. <laughs> Um, I think it's still Blade Instructor. I still want to have creatures, but I don't mind getting a Cosmotronic Wave. Wow, this deck looks insane so far. Yeah, eighth pick Justice Strike and like a f friggin' thirteenth pick Skylight Legionnaire is no joke. Just borrow the white red color. That's good. I like it. I'm a fan. This is the strongest card in the pack, and it's not not even remotely close. There's nothing even else for us, so there is a chance I might cut the the green and get enough guild gates to play this guy. Um, I don't know if I will do that, but I definitely think it's worth taking over anything else in this pack. Yeah, that's insane. Parhelion's fine, but it's not Niv Mizzet level, and eh, this is the the upside on this card is so high that I just want to take it just to see what happens. triple red triple blue that is not a reasonable color requirement but man what is this deals five damage target attacking or blocking creatures so that's nuts creatures you control gain first strike vigilance after this main phase there's oh that's that card's bonkers yeah at worst it's a very very efficient removal spell at best it probably wouldn't see the game. Okay, we'll take that. We only have three green cards here. This guy's great, but this is the only one I actually care about splashing. I think Boros is definitely open, especially... Uh, yeah, second pick this. <clears throat> I think if you're in red or white, you would take the response half, even, even by itself, even if you can't cast Resurgence, which is very easy to splash because of the gates. Like, you just take response on a white deck or a red deck. Mm. It is attacking or blocking, yes. So you can... I get the feeling either one of these might come back. So I'm okay with... This is just... This is nuts, dude. Is it Guildgate? Oh, True Fire Captain? Alright, well, considering... Or or Affectionate Indrik. Affectionate Indrik actually is probably better if we're splashing the green. Which, we still have no reason not to. 
Yeah, this is harder to cast. This is... I think this is even better. Like... I don't think the captain is better. I mean, like, the thing is, like, in limited, you could actually get three... The fixing is obviously worse, right? So you could actually have three planes, one one mountain, and not even be able to cast it as easily. Plus, we're not longing for four drops. This card's just great. This is just removal. This is a 4-4 four, four removal spell. Is this real? Is this real? <laughs> All right, we'll take the Swift Blade Vindicator. Please calm down. We all know you're going to flood out matches one and three and just barely win match two. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, my God. Oh, Crater Maker. Sure, it's just a Shock Goblin. Yep. Going to take this as well. Do we have any commons in our deck right now? Oh, we do. We have, we have six commons. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is also a 4-drop, not a 5-drop. I would look at this as... Eh, this is actually probably fine as a 5-drop. I literally thought this was in our night, night of autumn, and I was like, oh my god. I like Celestia Locket here just to be able to splash a little easier. It's pro it's better than Fresh Face Recruit. I don't care about that guy. This is actually the perfect. I can't anymore. <clears throat> even the swarm even these two are great. I'm just gonna take the true fire captain. Eh, this card's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's what we're taking, so. I'm tearing up my heart when I'm with you. This card's not terrible. It's 100, it's happening, bits. I'm probably not going to play a Boros uh, Locket as well. Oh, the Skynet Legionnaire came back. Perfect. Actual perfect. That's phenomenal. <clears throat> no, I think we're good like this. I don't... <clears throat> Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I seriously have no idea what's happening right now. <coughs> These are probably the picks. Or do I just take the second Niv Mizzet? Oh my god. I think this card's probably the best. Like, we have double True Fire Captain, which is just utterly insane. Indric, yeah, this is the better card, but 
Oh, dear God. Oh, Command the Storm is just a great pickup here. Actually, the hell, I imagine the Whelp is going to come back. Command the Storm is great. We're going to take that. Luminous Bonds. Just perfect. Literal perfect. I don't even think we're going to need... I mean, like, it's not not worth splashing Night of Autumn... <laughs> Just fucking stop. I can't. I can't right now. I seriously can't. This is not real. This might come back based on how this draft has looked. Another Legionnaire. We don't... All of our two drops are uncommons or rares. These two might be worth just playing. This is a 4-3 for three, three, and this is a fighter. Oh, we also have a direct current, which is just also fantastic. This is not real, dude. I don't know what to take. Direct current's great. Skyline Engineer's great. and It's one of these two, I think. Yeah, I'll take the current. Oh, Jesus. Really? Another another Command the Storm, which is just really good? Really good? Even this card's great. <clears throat> Not going to make the main deck. Also, Garrison Sergeant sucks. We can actually easily cut that guy. Boros Locket's better than Celestial Locket if we don't play the green, I guess. Oh my god. Yep, that's what we figured. Unbelievable. Extremely playable. Today has been a successful day, guys. Today has been a successful day. Casual command the storm on the sideboard. Even this guy's not bad. Like, making it a 3-1 and then just pumping onto any of your guys is pretty good can I get my swift can I get the second swift the justice strike back I'd appreciate it we did cut the green it's already out When we are apart, I feel it too. Actually, I did want a Cosmotronic Wave, so I will actually put that in the main deck. Fits perfectly in this beautiful four drop slot. I mean, we could easily cut this if we get something better, but. Is that something better? <laughs> Holy shit, this deck, dude. <laughs> Can I see the Soul Time version? Yeah, here you go. Hold on.
Oh wow, Slay Skyline Scout, which might be, might be nice. We only have thirteen. We have thirteen creatures and a Sworn Companion, so I guess it's kind of like fourteen creatures. This deck has a lot of removal. <laughs> we might be able to cut one of the Command of Storms actually for the Skyline Scout, which is nice because. Another scout. Okay, sure. Literally no one in white. No one is in white or red. At the entire... This entire draft is just... Also got a take heart in the sideboard. Deck is un un pretty unreal. Uh no, I like Goblin Banner. I, I think it's fine. I don't know if it's better than anything else in our deck. Is the problem? Yeah, was everyone else just fighting over Sultai colors? Because that's pretty ridiculous. Like as far as removal goes, this is removal. This is all this is our removal. I could see Banner over Loxodon. I just like having a big creature. We don't have that many big creatures is really the problem, but I don't know if that is I guess, eh, actually maybe it's fine. Yeah, I like that. I'm not sure if we even play the Guild Gate. This is also 15 creatures, which is more than enough. And Rock Charger with any of the, like... How many flyers do we have? I mean... A good amount, all things considered. Considering we have a Rock Charger as well. About six. I don't even think we play the Guild Gate. I just don't even care. Maybe we do. I just really don't ever want it to come into play tapped. Like, I, I can't, I don't want to go turn, I don't want to miss a four drop. <sighs> Whatever, I'll play the one. And we'll see how many times it screws me. I don't love it, but we have Knight of Autumn in the sideboard. <laughs> That's comical, dude. Uh, keep, <laughs> keep, snap, keep, sneep, snap, neep. Oh, perfect mana. Play this guy first because he can get in. If they play any kind of X1 or X2, uh, Swift Blade Vindicator is just worse. With or without you. When we are apart, oh great, great. Where's my nullhide ferox when I need it? I don't think we need both removal spells. Uh, Mentor says if you're attacking with a creature that is smaller, uh, whenever this creature attacks, put a 1-1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. I mean, I don't know why you'd be worried about that. At the worst, it's a 2-2 it's a two -two for 2, right? It's a 2-1 for 2. 
with Vigilance and Trample, right? So even if you mentor on it once, it's still fine. It's just it just fills your two drop slot. At the worst, it's average. At the best, it's pretty busted. And busting makes me feel good. We discard Conclave Tribunal. That's our hand, bro. Yep, a bunch of dirtily creatures. So this is a 2-2, two -two, so even if they double block, we just go kill, you deal one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Comical. Oh, that's great. Like you do. Oh, boy. Sweet opening. Uncommon, rare, rare, uncommon. Seems good. Draft is a fun format. <laughs> With or without you. I'm tearing up my heart when I'm with you. Draft sucks except cube. How dare you. This is a nice turn. And no matter what I do, I feel the pain. These guys have double strike. God, and then we can still get to just toss this dude down and mentor onto these guys again next turn. You take eight here. I have yet to play a common. Well, that was a good, good games. Good game there. Both sides played hard. Yikes. I'm just going to submit. Did we play a common? What was our common? Mm. Luminous Bonds, you're right. It wasn't on my side of the board, so I got confused. You're right. And no matter what I do, I feel the pain. You have the gate, might as well. Well, we don't have any. The problem is a 3-3 three, three for 5 is not where this deck wants to be. And we only have one gate, so it's just a 3-3 three, three with no double strike. Oh my god, look how big this guy is. Did I just Conclave Tribunal this guy? Interesting. So next time we can go land, play this for three. We'll have one, two, three, four, and we can still attack for two. And after conclaving this guy. Yep, take four. Uh, they're like, we can be aggressive too. Sworn Companions makes their attacks pretty rough. Well, that doesn't do much here. This would have been great. But see, this is what I was concerned with. Now it's probably just better to get rid of this guy, right? Hmm. 
<laughs> one mana for two oh ones. I don't think that'd be too good. That seems totally reasonable. Is it a big thing? No. It's dead. It is dead. I guess it's not dead yet. Really want to play Challenger into that guy, unfortunately. Not really much else I can do, though. S Stalker, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, this is just so bad. A second red here would be great. I guess we don't play anything here, right? Like, we can just block here if they attack. If they don't, we just take... I don't know what attack with flyer pump means. I guess we could have attacked with this guy too, right? Yeah, I did earlier. Um, this is this is a fine trade. I kind of want to get this guy off the board. Because if we can actually give this guy mentor counters, it's kind of where you want to be. Yeah, that's annoying. But if we hit a land, we can kind of get around. Mountain one time. Such cringe. Remember that time we were talking about getting land screwed? Well, we've missed three land drops. Well, I'm not going to two here, so. Oh, they didn't play anything. That's nice. It's pretty rough again. This card would be insane. Just be able to trade here and they take four. I'm gonna play this guy instead because it seems a little he's a little more a little more hardy. Swift Blade Vindicator is just we're dead if they can kill this guy, so I think we're just dead here. They're gonna price a fame it. Yep. Seems good. Yep, that would have been good. No reason we should have missed four land drops. I kind of like taking Direct Current out for Call of the Culprit, actually. They have a bunch of big dudes. They had one big dude, I guess, we saw. Eh, I guess Direct Current's fine. Yeah, whatever. I think it's a toss-up. Well, it's in the hand now, so. Mulligan. Keep. Yes. Now well, let's see how good it is, I guess. Vindicator. Remember how good our deck seemed? Well, this guy does have Mentor, which is pretty nuts, so. Mm. 
Pernicious dude, have a good night, buddy. I mean, they have six cards, we have two. So, not feeling great about our chances here. We only mulliganed once. Why do they have so many? I guess because they traded for, for nothing here. So that puts them up a card. Um, they were on the draw, which puts them up a card. And we were on the... We were on the play. They was yeah. So that they run the draw, they got a two for one, and we mulliganed. So it's all making sense. That's actually what we're hoping for. So they're probably gonna block here, but I'm gonna wait for them to decide. Maybe double block here and block here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm actually just going to burn this dude out. Because then we get to keep 4-3 and then we trade. Like, the, their whole board is gone then. But we get to keep 4-3 on board. Alternatively, we get to kill one of these guys. We can keep one of these on the board. I think this is better to have on board. I kind of like this better. It's just more versatile, especially if we have... I don't know. This could be very bad still. Of course they have something. This is great. Yep. Seems good. Oh, what? They did it wrong. That's fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, the value train. So we traded a command and a true life for three of their guys. For, for all four of these cards. All right. All right, we did it. Yeah, because it gave plus three, plus three, but we were dealing five, so... Five toughness does not actually get that done. Wow, that was lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh my god. Talk about lucky, I guess. I want to play this because they do have rat burglars in their deck, so might as well just get a guy down. It's okay, they recovered their two for one with our... with an affectionate Indrik. Yikes. I guess we can block those guys pretty profitably. And if they're holding a removal spell, like they have enough guys, they had this on board at the time, so if we have a removal spell, if we draw it and they play a rat, we'll just kill this guy. I'm just going to take three here. Did you gain a life too? No, it gains menace. Sure. All right. Well, there's a lot of things you're playing here that I am just hitting lands for. Actually, don't even want to attack here with this guy anyway. Because it's just bad news. Like, they'll just trade with the 2-2. Two -two. Wow. Pretty amazing Boros deck, and we just get blown up by Assemble, Affectionate Indric, and drawing seven lands. Last game, we just get to draw three lands, four lands. So.
No, Boris is definitely not bad in draft. Oh, good. The card I have to actually block. And I have a... Oh, Magic the Gathering. You are a game of skill. Cool, I will block this because I have to. And I'll go to one life. Play more spells, please. Fun games. Actually, I'm just going to put the take card in. It's so frustrating. In before never seeing a third land. Sure. What is going on? Just a bunch of nerds on board? I don't I've never talked nice to the shuffler, but I've also never talked to badly about the shuffler so I don't know wow this is going wide for sure okay well making sure I can only cast one spell a turn I guess
Bouncer guy. No? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to block. Block here. Sure. Gotta play something here. Plus, I don't want that dude jumping up and giving us a little bite. Get a little frog bite. So they have one card in hand. I actually feel pretty good about just playing Rock Charger here. Because, like, this is one, two, three, four. This can mentor onto this. And then this guy can mentor onto this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's exactly lethal, and they all float. And pumping this once can still leave just the strike up, so. No attacks whatsoever. Planes? All right. Floaty boy here. Mentor onto you. And they're dead. All right. Well, that's more like it. Man, our game one, our game one record is flawless. Sand is not great. Four drop, four drop, five drop. Not really where I want to be. I'll keep this sand because we can play pretty much everything. I'll also keep that. Well, that's pretty good. They're missing two land drops? Alright, so this is interesting. Keep that dude tapped. You got it. So what we can do is pump this guy to
Seems good. Well, you're letting me untap with this guy, which is interesting. Especially when I have a Parheliot Patrol and a Sky Knight Legionnaire. Here we go. Something on our turn. Artful Takedown, Neg 2, Neg 4, and tap this guy. Well. That's good for us. Oh, and it's still bigger. Oh, that's great. Oh boy, that's nice. Still got to attack for like a billion. That's pretty strong. Take heart, buddy. Take heart. Well, these matches have gone extremely quick. Oh, I see. Well, that's just that's just cheating. This is a situation where we actually want to play all the lands we get because well, we can get to a point where we can double pump this guy. We're not there yet. We have two flyers, so one is definitely getting through. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. They just block here and put all in front of this guy, don't they? Oh, that was bad. I should have Luminous Bonds first. One, two, three, four, five. This is just... I guess we actually just attack with these guys and it should be fine, right? But what? how big is this guy? One, two, he'll be four? We can take out both of these, so then we're just left with a guy on board. Yeah, this would have been significantly better if we actually just played this first. We just went a little too fast there. Now, we actually have to go in with this guy because we need to take the House Guild Mage off the board. And we can just eat both of these guys they triple block yeah that's what we thought Yeah, we had to do that because if we keep this guy on the board, or they're gonna they're gonna have to trade or else they're dead. So they have to kill one of the flyers, and the other flyer they can just tap down with House Guild Mage forever. Uh, we could not have mentored the Legion. There's no way to stack it in such a way. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sixteen lands. We've drawn half of them. They have five cards, we have one, essentially. Yeah, 
Yep, that's really good and getting back, getting back in the game. I guess we're going to have to Luminous Bonds that guy. I'd also take a Direct Current. That would be nice. It's actually not bad. I don't want you to gain life because you're at three, so that's pretty valuable for us. So eight out of 25 cards, less than a third of our deck is lands at this point, so. Oh, we have nine actually, one, two, three, four, five. This is actually nine out of, so there's only seven lands left in our deck out of 27. All right, all right, we're doing okay. Yeah, no blocks. If you want to surveil, then you can... Then we'll just kill it in response so you're not drawing a card. It's pretty bad. Yep, you get your your unexplained disappearance back. Or your, you get your stupid idiot back. Good thing about surveil is all you need is one. Sure, no more command the storm. Strong, very strong. Put them to two, man. Oh my god. Put them to one, rather, is what I meant. Hmm. Still have a lot of live draws, though. Boo doo ba doom. Boom ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. All right. <laughs> Ten out of sixteen lands. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Ten lands. Sixteen land deck. There are six lands and 22 cards. That is less than, that is almost a little over 24, 25%. It's probably like 27%-ish. They just have to have an answer for this guy, I guess. And they do. Of course they do. And they can get back their blood operative. Yeah, we could have killed the guy and fizzled the surveil, but um Direct current one time? Why didn't you play the Oh, they couldn't actually get it back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this should be game. Oh, that makes that that's that's totally different then. I, I forgot they couldn't get it back because they actually don't have the life to pay. Yep. This card's gonna be pretty problematic, I imagine. Okay, yep, feeling a little better about that then. My god. One of two true fire captains. Well, they could block with that guy, actually. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Huh. 
Was that just like a suicide? Maybe I don't block? Oh boy. Good times, Magic the Gathering, good times. Remember, magic is fun, Frank. My it has it. It has its moments. It definitely has its moments. I will play first. Yep. You know what? I'll keep this hand. Yep, you can stay too, because you're the last land I need to feel good about. Ba-da-ba-doom. ba doom ba <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is this turn two? No. This is us turn one. Okay. Evil Santa, what's going on, buddy? When you watch this YouTube video, you'll know. Whatever that means. Guys, I don't know what to eat for dinner. This is the stream predicament every single day. Every day. You guys know we have double swift swift blade vindicator in hand, right? I just want to make sure that's a that's a known thing. What a what a bounty agent. Give me a mentor, bro. Boros mirror match. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, scootin' doo 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 doo. I don't play commons. I do play one ones, however. Let's get this guy's pump on. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh. No blocks. I like it. Maybe I should have pumped again. I like keeping this trick up, though. where they go one damage to all my dudes. Don't do it, man. That is fine. Put a lid on it. Do 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 put a lid down on it and everything will be alright. Oh man, I'm so good. It's not my time, and does it cook my goose? Let's do it again. Ooh, Mike, that'd be sick if I lived closer to you. Maybe if you uh, cleaned out one of those rooms in your house, 
I could just move in with you. And then we can carpool to Blizzard every day. And then I'll just be like, hey, bro, I know I don't work here, but I'll just hang out until people think I do. And then they'll just start giving me tasks. No blocks again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're not playing anything else. I feel like they have Righteous Blow for this guy, but... Oh, he just won the game. All right. Wow. Wow. I'm going to bring an Ornery Goblin over a Sky, sky Guy. Cosmotronic Wave could be good. I'm a little scared of like all my one power, one toughness guys. I'll take out the Blade Instructor for the wave. Wave only hits your opponent's stuff? Right. I know. That's why I brought it in. I'm a little afraid of their wave that they may have because we have a bunch of one toughness creatures and they're playing red. Wow. This hand's great if we can hit any planes and it's possible we can. We have two draws. There's eight planes in the deck out of 33 cards, so it's about a 25% chance. Both times we have two one and fours. <laughs> Never didn't have it. That's great. This hand is pretty beautiful. I'm probably just going to lead with uh, Vindicator because if we lose one of those, it's fine. Eh, Challenger's good. <laughs> I like Challenger a little better. Oh, no attack. I like it. Okay, this has turned out well. Next time we can just go. We can actually play this guy, Rock Charger. Oh, FTL Praise. I like that. That seems good. What can we make it, though? I feel like Vindicator having prowess is kind of scary. Do we just get to go double swift plates here? Oh boy. If we go double Vindicator, we can actually play Resurgence next turn, which is pretty busted. If we draw a land. Yikes, that sounds friggin' gross. Stop doing better things than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you're not gonna like this.
And we win the game. Oh, he drafted a really solid Boros deck, but didn't... Oh, dang it. Dang it. Didn't really get there. Good games playing against... All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, we literally were one match or one game away from the 3-0 there, unfortunately. And, uh... Like like we do, both of our games, both of our second matches were kind of very far ahead, and like the other uh, the other match was literally decided by game two not being able to draw a fifth land of the appropriate color, and game three was decided by drawing nine or ten of sixteen lands or something. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. This was a pretty solid Boros draft. Slam those Boros buttons, and uh, check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both the links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.